Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to Demon's Souls. Took a little break, played some Hogwarts Legacy, but we're back at it. Uh, we're going to touch the Archstone of the Digger King and travel to the Tunnel City. Archstone of the Armor Demon Spider, or Armor Spider Demon. Below the smithing grounds of Stonefang, the Tunnel City is a system of pathways that gave the city its name. Legend has it that deep inside, beyond the molten swamps, is a grave for dragons. So let's go see if we can fight our first dragon. Right, we did explore everything here prior. Mining cart. Oh. All right. Um, did did not expect that. Let's see what we've got as far as items go. We do have some small grass. Let's use those. Oh no, no, that's gonna explode again. Does it? Or is it just waiting for me to approach before it? before it decides to blow. You can't use that wheel at all. all right, so there's a path to the right and a path to the left. Let's check the right path out first. We need more clear stone shards and clear stone chunks in order to upgrade our weapon as quality further. Um, I haven't really rethought my decision. I think I'm going to stick with quality for the time being. I don't know if the customization system is as robust as Elden Ring. Oh no, they're all coming now. Okay, this was a bad idea. This was a bad decision. Terrible. I'm going to end up eating all of my grass before I even get to, like, a difficult area. Whoa. He just... Like he, like he just finished watching Ben Stiller's classic movie, Dodgeball. Dip, duck, dive. Man, I hate seeing that, seeing that grass number drop there, but can I, can I vault this? No. Alright, 
There's a prize awaiting us below, I guess. Or maybe not. Gosh, I can't really see. Mm. Okay. That does not kill us. And that which does not kill us just makes us stronger, I guess. Alright, is this a trick? Is this... Have I gone on a fool's errand? No. Nearly nearly killed myself, though. Oh, the plague resistance ring. How about that? Right, let's be careful here with this one. Story warrior soul. Nice. Okay, let's look through our plague resistance ring. Increases resistance to plague. The soft ring bearing a dark purple seal increases resistance to plague. Crafted by Gary, known for his magic handicrafts and close acquaintance with the sage Frake the Visionary. The seal depicts a rat's claw. So do rats give plague? Is plague the same as, like, the, the death? An Elden Ring? If so, that may be good when we face enemies like that. Okay. We're gonna lose a lot of HP just... Can, we can't... Oh, oh. And we can't climb. So our option before... I guess it's... Just go further down, huh? We wanted that ring. That was too close for comfort, almost. Oh no, I think I hear a rat. Oh, there's a ladder. This one is for climbing up. So we can climb down or climb up. Still can't get. Oh, there's a door down there, too. Let's see where this leads first. Okay, that can't be good. If I die, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to figure my way back out here. like a turtle. Okay, he doesn't see me yet. Oh, no. Oh, that's my... Oh, but there's an item right there. Knowing my luck, it's just like crescent moon grass. Oh, did, did he see me? Is he coming? No, he couldn't have. Maybe if I put on that thieves ring. Hold on. Oh, 
Okay, he is definitely coming for me now. Oh, that just missed him. Oh no! He doesn't take any damage. What am I supposed to do? Oh, and the crystal lizard disappeared. No, I died. I only had 500 souls anyways. But I think I may abandon those souls there. Oh, he scurried off. just killed me. Alright, so I lost my souls anyways. His poise is nuts. The official's clothes. Okay, there's an elevator here. Is this a shortcut? The Aug out of Guidance. That was one of the starting items. Or the, the gifts. Yeah. That out. I guess it's a consumable. A stone that emits light, often used as a guide. A stone that briefly radiates light when we're exposed to the air. Valuable as a rare jewel, but otherwise useless, except perhaps as a shining guidepost. Alright, so it's just a gem we can use to mark our path. Which may be good because. I'm not quite sure what we're doing. Alright, let's just have him swing first. Come on, buddy. I'm not sure if these are like dragon scales or what they are. Okay, new area, let's go check the elevator first.
Oh, gotcha. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Nice clear stone shard. Oh no, what are you? Are those invaders? They look like, um, like invaders, because they're, they're humanoid, but they're all re- oh, oh. Whatever those wisps are, they explode. Oh, no, never mind. It's just indicating that there's a giant chasm here, and that if I try to go, I'm certain to die. But there- oh, there's a- Little hero over there. He does explode. Oh no, another turtle. What are, how do you even fight him? There's gotta be some secret to it. They don't take any damage. Close, he does give me a little nip. And the fire obviously can't be the key. Just glad they're not more aggressive. Wait, is it? Is it slashing damage, maybe? It can't be. Maybe if I get them on their bellies. Stone shard. Oh, nice. Oh no, big one, big one. I need my shard though. Okay, let's go back this way. 
I have the thieves ring on so they can't detect me as closely, I would hope. And big big boy stuck up there. And is that patches? Oh, so he started out in Demon Souls. Oh no! What are you? me. When will somebody drop grass? He's stuck as hell. Let's try a different weapon. Do I have any other weapons? No. I just gotta slowly wear him out. I feel like I go talk to Patches, he just jumps right down on me, though. So. this out so you guys don't have to watch me hacking away at the, this turtle for 10 minutes. I'm going to leave some stamina just in case he explodes and I got to run out of the way. Yeah. Figured. It'll never be as easy as you just hack at him for 14 minutes and then he'll quietly go. Flame resistance ring. That might be good here. Look at that. Increases resistance to flame. A soft ring bearing a deep red seal increases defense against flame. The seal depicts a flame. Also crafted by Gary. The close acquaintance of the sage, Rake the Visionary. Okay, so now we won't get burned up so quickly. Uh, we might have to go back to our friend, the Lone Wanderer. Oh, the, do these guys have wings? Alright, Patches. It is Patches. He's even got the shield and the spear. <laughs> you? You're no joke, are you? Is that all he wants to say? <laughs> you? You're no joke, are you? He looks odd, I mean. Is he gonna leave? Is he following us? Do I have to kill him? Is he our friend? Is he the enemy? All right, this. A club. 
Oh, maybe we missed out on some dialogue because we killed the turtle before he asked us to kill the turtle. They get the same voice actor. <laughs> you? You're no joke, are you? Maybe they did. Alright, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we can go down towards the lake of lava, and I think that's the way forward. Or we can go fight some more turtles and see if there's any treasures lying about. Alright, come get me. I'm resistant to you now. I'm gonna strike your softened belly. Oh, fighting them on the incline does expose their belly though. Dragonstone shard. Oh, big guy. I know how to deal with you guys now. Oh no. No, 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 no. He's far more aggressive than the other guys were. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of this gate. does not flip himself over. Uh, he slow counterclockwise turn. He really picks up the pace. As they mature, they, they become swifter. He probably explodes too. Shooting his tongue out at me. Oh no, he's gonna explode. He definitely is gonna explode. Yes, yeah. Be a certain explosion. Also a shard from him. Pretty good. Two dragonstone shards. Alright, we're not going to follow this down to our death. We can get down there. Uh, let's see. Oh, there is a landing down. There is a landing way down there. And there is an item. Um, so, maybe if we roll into that and then fall. Or we might be better off just falling onto that and falling down. But we can check that out later, because it looks like this entire path branches out once we get down there let's see what's on the upper layer
The Great Axe. What do you look like? Alright, so it requires 26 strength to use. Alright, we're not there yet, but we will be. This cleaver boasts versatile, or this cleaver boasts incredible heft, just as versatile as an ordinary axe. But the weight of each swing leaves foes reeling, though it requires extraordinary strength to wield. Okay, so we can't use it quite yet. Or we, we can two hand it. Let's see. Let's try it out. What's the worst that can happen? We gotta go back to our sword. We can always send it back to, um, to the to stockpile Thomas. The oh the club does bludgeoning damage. A coarse wooden club. Blunt weapons which do not rely on blades are effective against metal armor and hard scales, as well as draining a foe's stamina and breaking their shield defense. Following through with one swing and connecting will land an optimal hit of inflicting more damage than normal. Maybe the club is the way to go with these guys. Doesn't do nearly as much damage, but hacking away at the the turtle for 10 minutes when the club can bash him in. <laughs> you? You're no joke, are you? Hmm. Okay, let's cut it here. Um... Next time we will explore this uh, wonderland of lava and fiery turtles. See you next time.